Hey guys, so we decided to do a how we met video. Um, it's really going to be like a whole relationship video, I guess. So I'll let him start. No, she's going to start. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start then. Um, so I used to work at this photo studio in the mall and he always would walk by and he would be waving at me and stuff like that. So that was around 2010, 2011. He came in and he was like talking to me for a really long time. Um, but, yet, but at the time I was unavailable so I told him like basically no. And he went on his little way. I went on my way, but like I said, per persistence. Persistence, all right? Shoot the club up. Two bodies at the scene. Oh. Homicide, <laughs> Homicide. All right? So, basically, I came back in again with the big homie. You know what I'm saying? He was swagged out. He was a baby. He was cute. You know, so I came back in with him. You know what I mean? To drop a little swag on there. You don't have a baby because, you know, you got a baby with you. You know, she likes kids. So, you know, they bring a baby in. She all over me, son. And that was around, like, 2014 because Lamar had just turned, like, one. I believe he was either he had just turned one or he was about to turn one. He wasn't walking yet. He wasn't even standing by he himself. Was he was <laughs> That's what he was. Well... Pretty much, uh, when I came in, uh, I was just trying to get the big homie pictures taken. You know, man, I won't let nothing go on or nothing like that. I was just trying to get the big homie pictures taken. But of course, you know, she kept giving me all these compliments and stuff, and I was like, you know, thank you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, I ain't asked for the number because, you know, she had already told me one time, so, no, one time before, so I was like, nah, I'm not asking this time. You know I me, mean? I just kind of need to be home. Bitches take it. That's it. I ain't asking. Let me tell y'all, that is not true. He came in there with the intentions to talk to me. He knew his son was not going to take no pictures. Lamar came in there and acted a complete fool. He was like, no, not at all. We couldn't even get him to stand up with the chair. Look, I'm going to be honest with you. I went out to the store, bought me a stroller, put a minute, and came back. And it worked. No. So he had to fill out the little paperwork and everything. While he was filling out the paperwork to take Lamar's pictures, he mentioned that he was no longer with his mother. So I'm like, okay. I'm like, whatever. I don't, whatever. It's whatever. So, and I think I was still... I don't know what I was doing then. 2014. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. But, uh... No, that wasn't 2014. It had to be like 2013. No, because you had him in... It was in February 2013. So there's no way. Okay, so it had to be 2014. I don't know what I was doing. But I was just like, no. So then he was like he was going to bring Lamar back with his mom to get pictures taken. I'm like, okay, that's cool, whatever. He said he would act better with his mom. He never came back to get those pictures taken. That's never. He didn't come back because, you know, what am I going to come back for? He didn't bring him back to get pictures taken until he was two and we was dating him. <laughs> so Man, that's not my fault He didn't want to go, he told me Anyway, so after that I hadn't seen him for a real long time It was maybe like No, it wasn't a long time I just hadn't seen him in a while And it was like summer of Summer of 2015 he comes strolling in in these <laughs> swim trunks as shorts. He had on 
this hat that he has on his head. Sorry, I put my hand in front of his face. So he had that hat on and he had on some yellow chucks. And he basically finessed her son went in there with swag. Got the number. Boom. Two he talked later. No, he talked to me for two months later. He talked to me for a long time, first of all. He talked to me for like two to three hours. She told stories to me about Lord of the Rings and stuff like that. She told me, oh, I watched that too. Cause I, I have like, seen it. She's seen I've it with seen me it. now. She's seen it with no, me. No, 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 no. I've seen it before. The Hobbit and all that stuff. I've seen it before I was with him. Because my brother was into that stuff. So I watched this stuff with him. But my movies was Harry Potter. Okay? That was my forte. But, um, anyway... He had he came in, he was cute. I was like, okay, whatever. But he gave me his number. I did not give him my number. He gave me his. Two hours later. And the only reason I text him two hours later just was say, just say you just say you were sitting there pondering about texting me. And you just, I was, you just decided I, to do it. I thought about it and I decided to do it. I mean I was like, hey, what what can it hurt? He's cute. Whatever. So we had a really good conversation or whatever. And we went on a date with his son. The big homie. <laughs> he had to go. Sorry. Our I first no, date. I had nowhere to put him. I had to take him everywhere. Shoot. He was expensive. Okay. He really did. He told me he used to have to take him like to job interviews. <laughs> Seriously. I had to take him everywhere job interviews grocery shopping to the gym i used to have to run outside with him in a stroller when i was when i was running i put him to the stroller put him in the stroller and used to run with him in the stroller everything when i was working on my car he had to be in the stroller right there while i was working on the car single father life beast man i had to call people to the interviews and sit in the car with him if not, I would have had him with a little baby backpack going in there with a blanket <laughs> over him. <laughs> Covering him up like this. <laughs> Hi, I'm William McGregor. What's on through. your chest? <laughs> oh, don't, don't pay it no mind. It's just a baby. That's all. Just keep going. <laughs> I would have been there drink professional. It don't even matter. Straight up, son. So, maybe like a few months after... We went on our first date. He took me to meet his mom. You didn't tell him when you got fertilized. I was getting to that part. Oh, okay, tempo. So, he took me to meet his mom. And then, I broke up with him. The next day. <laughs> I'm sitting here thinking I'm doing a good thing. I took her to my mom's job. Everybody had her job seen her, too. And it was like, hey, guess what? Y'all won't see her again. She broke up with me. I was crazy, okay? And I had a really good reason because I was pregnant. I didn't know I was pregnant. I was pregnant. We had a conversation about babies, okay? I spent the night over her apartment. We had a conversation about babies. So she wanted a baby, okay? She she wanted... She wanted that little girl to be around here. She wanted it. You know how I know she wanted it? Because she always hinted it. She always hinted it. You know what I'm saying? She always hinted it. He said... We talked about babies. And we talked about girls in general. We talked about babies. And he was saying that he he should have a girl. Like, he should have had a daughter. That was what he kept saying. And, um... I had already knew what it was when she was pregnant. Like I said, it's all in the angle, fellas. If you know what angle that you were at when it finished, that's how I got to. I knew the exact angle, the, the, the exact acute angle that I was at 45 degrees. This is inappropriate. Like 45 degrees. Finishing. Fast forward to May 11, 2015 at 11.22 p.m. Exactly an 
24 hours after we went to the hospital on Mother's Day, we had Jordan. She was born, and she was like 6 pounds, 13 ounces. She was selfish. Because <laughs> his birthday is two days before that. She's selfish. <laughs> She could have waited. I was trying so hard to have her on his birthday. She could have waited. I should have worked out like the day before. And I would have had her on his birthday. But I was like just walking around and stuff like that. And I was running up and down the steps. And that was it. <laughs> that worked. Obviously something worked. Because we ended up having her on the 11th. It was actually a day before her due date, so. All right, so check this out. After we had, after we had Jordan, right? I told her I wasn't marrying her. He did, and I was mad. I was so mad because I was like, "What's the point in being in a relationship if you're not gonna marry me?" And I was like, "I don't see the point in this." <laughs> well, when I said she was mad for a long time. She was mad for a long time. I was about to break up with him again. <laughs> I didn't know that part. I did not know that. Because I was like, there's no point in us being in a relationship if the goal is not marriage. Like, who gets into a relationship and they're like, okay, yeah, this is the point where we stop. Just boyfriend and girlfriend. That's, that's it. I didn't see the point in that. You know, because I was grown. <laughs> she talking about oh no yeah I didn't know she was gonna break up because she didn't act like she was she was still coming over to my parents house and everything so boom you're the father of my child at that point and I'm like I don't want to just leave this relationship but he don't see nothing else with me other than being a girlfriend so at that point I was like I don't know what the point is. I don't know what I'm going to do. So, he kept that going on for a while until, for a few months. And then, October 16th of 2015, he proposed to me. He started an argument. <laughs> I asked her about marrying again. And he knew it was going to make me mad. And he knew it was going to start an argument. And we were like in the restaurant. Like we weren't in there yet. We were walking in the restaurant. And I was like I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I was like let's just go in here and eat. Leave me alone. <laughs> yeah. Before I did it though. I sat down with her dad and talked to her dad about it. He was like, yes, this needs to happen. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, continue. So, I'm like, like I said, the whole time I'm mad. Like, live it. Because he's bringing this up as we're walking up to this restaurant. We're supposed to be having a date night. And I think it was like our second time going out since we had Jordan. So, I was, like, really, really mad. Like, real mad. And he was bringing that up. So, he's like, no, come on, come on. We got to talk about this. Grabbing my hand and stuff. And I'm like, leave me alone. <laughs> There's people walking out staring at us because I'm just, like, I went from zero to 100 real quick. <laughs> but I was hungry. So. so that was another problem. And then we got inside. And he was like, no, let's just talk about it. Like, as soon as we got in, I was like, what? What? You don't want to marry me. I know you don't want to marry me. That's fine. We're not getting married. <laughs> So, he then turns to me and he's like, 
well, I just wanted to talk to you because I just wanted to let you know. And he gets down on one knee and he's like, that I changed my mind. And I was like, what? First of all, she thought it was a joke. Okay. <laughs> she didn't even think it was real. I really did think he was joking. She didn't think it was real. So, yeah. That's, he's always pranking me and playing jokes on me. So I was like this can't be real like this has to be a joke and if it was a joke he would have been <laughs> i would have heard him at that restaurant <laughs> but she kept asking me why we're eating was it real i had gave her the ring and everything and she was still asking was it real because like i said if y'all know him if anybody knows about him y'all know that he likes to play he likes to play, and sorry about this one here in the background. Oh my lord, she went to all of them. So, yes, the whole time that we were eating, I kept asking him. I really did, because I didn't, if you know him, and you know about him, like, what he does, he likes to play jokes, and he likes to prank people. So, I was like... Yes, he used to do stuff to me all the time, and he still does it to this day. He'll sit there and call me and say, oh, Jaden's doing something. I got to take her to the hospital. Like, stuff like that. <laughs> and I'm, like, freaking out because he knows how I am. I'm, like, I panic. That's the first thing that I do. I panic. And he plays those kind of jokes on me. And I know y'all saw him just laugh because he thinks it's funny, but it's not. Anyway, so that happened, and we got engaged on October 16th of 2015. And then fast forward a whole year. We had, we had, I mean, we had that apartment. Yeah, we had gotten an apartment together, and... We were living there for a year, pretty much. No, it was December to December. No, it was a year and um, six months. Six months. Well, that's a little less than six months. Um, so, we got married October 14, 2016. And then we moved into this house on... March 17. Yes, March 17. Of 2017. I do remember it. I was just trying to see if you remember it. Why wouldn't I remember? <laughs> <laughs> Shoot, why wouldn't I remember? So, that's pretty much our whole relationship. Now we're, you know, married with three children. Oh, we forgot. We totally skipped up for Jaden. Exactly. That's well, what I said the apartment part. <laughs> well, we had... She trapped me, son. No, I didn't. She straight up trapped me, son. She got we, me. No, we're not going to go into that. I did not. Just so y'all know. Anyway. In December, on December 20th, we had Jaden... And she was six pounds, 13 ounces, just like Jordan. Now she's a little chunky. She was in there pushing forever. Okay. I pushed for three hours straight. And then on top of that, you know what? The doctor in there was just, <laughs> <laughs> you know, that brother was very, I just, I did not appreciate him at all. Okay. I did not. He was the same one who delivered Lamar. And he did not let me cut Lamar's umbilical cord. When, when I he, saw him, I wanted to literally take his little scissors and cut his nose off. But he let him cut Jaden's off. Because he probably felt bad from the last time. He remembered me. I don't think he remembered him. He did. He remembered me because I straight up went gangs mode on him. Saying, I won't play him. All right? And then he had my, he had my wife... Pushing in inappropriate positions, like what is wrong with this man? He had on some some uh, pootie tang slide shoes, <laughs> and I'm just looking at this man like, okay, what is he trying to do here? Okay, it's just pushing, just having her pushing inappropriate positions. It's just no, it's horrible. 
It wasn't an inappropriate position. It Bruh. was just on. It was on all fours. Exactly. Okay. And a lot of women deliver their babies that way. It's He's easier. sitting in the back. You're doing good. You're doing good. <laughs> okay, I bet she is doing good, but you looking at that. I looked horrible, and that's nasty. If anybody thinks that that is attractive, that's just weird. <laughs> I said, oh, it's time to put another continue with the video. Oh, my God. We're going to have to cut that out. <laughs> what? That's inappropriate. Anyway. We have a little mouse outside the door. <laughs> Jordan, go wash Moana. But that was pretty much everything up until now. Um, Moana is naked. And check it. Where's her clothes at? Clothes. Where's her shirt? Go get it. Okay. That was Jordan, you guys. She lives for the camera. <laughs> but yeah, that was pretty much everything. So we're going to end this right here because I know it's probably a pretty long video. Now I'm going to take me a nap. You know what I'm saying? I've been trying to take me a nap since I got here. For real. Alright guys. So go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. To see more of our videos. We'll be doing more videos more often. You know, y'all see. I've been trying. I've been trying. And I've been doing something. <laughs> so I'm going to. We're going to continue to post videos and we hope that you guys are enjoying them. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any video ideas of what we should do next, like any videos like this, go ahead and comment below with those ideas. All right. Talk to you later, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>